game as we get into the third and final heat of the 4 by 100 meter relay in Kentucky who will be starting in lane four. And they're hoping for much less drama in this final heat of the four by one. That is for sure as you look across the board. They have Precious Hitchcock, Jasmine Camacho, Quinn, who is a star in the hurdles for the Wildcats, and K.L. Clark, and then Kiana Gray. So you have a senior, two sophomores, and a junior in this lineup. San Diego State right next to them in lane five. They are the only non-SEC school ranked in the top seven in this event. So we've mentioned how dominant the SEC has been so the Kentucky Wildcats very familiar with the rest of the field but San Diego State someone they're not quite so familiar with San Diego State the Aztecs in this particular heat uh, one of the few mentions of a non SEC school so far they were the 2017 Mountain West Conference champions. They were sixth place in this event last year. So very familiar with the NCAA stage and looking to improve upon that season best 42-81 coming in for them. And they have a senior and three juniors running on their team. So veteran team. Another mark on uh, uh, mention on Natalia White of Auburn. She was also scheduled to run in the third heat of the 200 meters. So that will not happen. The freshman from Jamaica having a tough NCAA meet so far. And of course, with a hamstring injury that bad, her NCAA meet is over. So Kentucky in four, San Diego State in five. Kentucky was fifth in this meet last year. So again, looking to improve upon a fifth place finish from 2016 as they get set into the blocks. Really holding on the, on the marks position for a long time today for some reason. And it's not so warm out there. Clemson moving nicely. Passes off first. Now Camacho Quinn starting to make a move for Kentucky. She will, we'll see her in the hurdles later as well as the 200. Kentucky having a lot of ground to make up. KL Clark. Now trying to make a ground for the Wildcats. And Clemson still there. It's going to be Kentucky and Clemson. Good pass by the Wildcats. They change hands. I never have understood that. San Diego State coming like a house on fire, trying to get in that top two, unable to do so. It is Kentucky and Clemson, first two across the line, automatically qualifying through to Saturday's final. And a mad rush by San Diego State just misses by three hundredths of a second in third. So still pretty far off of their season best so far. They will look to improve upon that in the finals. As we look here at the first exchange, you can see Kentucky looking pretty good there. Aztecs looked good as well just to their outside as we go to the second exchange on the back stretch. This was a huge moment for the race. This is where Clemson really got out in front. So Kentucky could see exactly what they needed to do. They had to run down the Tigers. They're on that third leg. Things close up very tightly here. Dwight, this is what you were mentioning. As we take a look, they change hands on this exchange. So typically you don't want to do that. Not very efficient or effective there. You can see Kiana Gray just kind of bobbles it over a little bit, but hey, worked for her. Such composure from the sophomore to take the stick in the lead, maintain it, switch those hands over and take it all the way through the line. Ashley Henderson, the anchor for San Diego State, was storming down the home stretch and just ran out of real estate. So here are the official results. Kentucky and Clemson through automatically. San Diego State, we will have to see if that is a good enough time to get through. I don't believe it is. And here are the advancers. We're uncertain about LSU at this point in time. Right now, they are officially in Saturday's final. 